the season. First time they've played each other in the playoffs, and first time both have been in the playoffs in the same season since 1985. The Kings have the NBA's top offense. The Warriors still have Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, the core of the recent dynasty. It should be a lot of offensive fireworks in that one. And Tom, last thing, you did mention those three Texas teams that did not make the playoffs. Houston, San Antonio, and Dallas. But you know, all those teams that didn't make the playoffs, I understand that they are taking a longing look at France as they try to rebuild. <laughs> Wembanyama, get to know that name, Rana. No one to LeBron James called Wembanyama a generational talent. Uh, he's seven feet five in shoes. He's an eight foot wingspan. Phenomenally skilled with his dribbling and shooting. He blocks shots like someone seven foot five should. Now May 16th will be smack dab in the middle of the playoffs, but it's also the day of the NBA draft lottery when it's decided what the order of the next draft will be for this season's worst teams and which of those teams will win the Victor Wembanyama sweepstakes. You know, no team wants to finish near the bottom of the standings, but if you got a stink, this is the year to do it. Uh, if it means you can draft the French phenom. All right, we are watching and waiting. We'll check back in with you. NPR sports correspondent Tom Goldman, thank you. You're welcome. probably aren't really thinking of the company's long-term future. Even traders who bet against the company are usually gone by the time you hit penny stock. 